Good morning. I'm Jarvis Lund, and I'm the East Central Region Engineer for Aldot, and we thank you for participating in our uh, update for this month. Uh, we will follow the uh, presentation, and if you have any questions, we'll move forward. As you know, and as we always said on the briefings, uh, that we basically have four phases of the project, phase A, one, two, and three. A is being the uh, bridges that we uh, did at 12th and 31st Street. One was the widening of the bridges and on 65, and two is the interchange at 65, and then three is the uh, replacement of the bridges and the modification of the ramps at Red Mountain Expressway. That's phase A. Phase A is complete and operates, operating as uh, it should. Uh, it's been a, a good job, and we're glad to have that behind us. Phase two is the modification of the interchange at 65 and 5920. Uh, that's where you see the bulk of the work that's ongoing currently. And we're going to walk through some of the uh, ongoing construction, try to give you an idea of where the contract is working and, and, and what he's trying to accomplish. This is a shot of uh, I-65 looking south toward Montgomery. And you can see to the left is our proposal or uh, the rendering of the proposed uh, project after it's complete. To the right shows some of the uh, work that's ongoing. And we're trying to show you, give you an idea how that work is tying in to, uh, to what's ongoing. You can see this is the ramp that goes from 65 northbound to 17th Street. To the right is the construction of that same ramp, how it will tie uh, and go around and tie to 17th Street. This is also looking south. And you can look to the right there. You can see all the ramps. That, this is the ramp that we're coming out of. 50 of uh, uh, the city to 65 southbound. Uh, this is the ramp that will go to 6th Avenue uh, North. This is also the ramp that goes 6th Avenue North or 5920 North. And you can see those same ramp configurations somewhat in the uh, in the drawing here. You can see the ramps that are taking shape as the construction proceeds. This is a View looking into the city, and these are the ramps, the exit ramps that will come out of the city. This is the ramp that goes to 65 northbound. This is the ramp that goes to 65 southbound. And this ramp goes to 59 southbound. And you can see those ramps somewhat in the view. This is the ramp to 65 northbound. We just opened that in the last month. So it's operating as it will. Also, you'll have ramps that will tie uh, coming out of the city in the same location going to 65. That's the columns for the ramp that goes to 65 southbound. And there will be another line of columns you can barely see on the, on the view, but it will be going to 59 southbound. This is the bridge that goes, that ties Enon Ridge and uh, the Fountain Heights communities, the neighborhoods. Uh, that bridge, the deck has been poured. They're working on the uh, approaches on each side to get them up so we can open this bridge. Uh, and so we've made progress, significant progress, since our last update. And you can see how the bridge will look once we're complete. The good thing about this bridge is that we will have two rails, one that will separate the uh, children that will be walking to the school. Tuggle School is just to the left of the view there. And they'll be separated from the uh, traffic as it uh, crosses the bridge. Let's talk about some of the closures that are ongoing on, the, on phase two. These are permanent closures that we've shown you in the, in the past. Uh, some of the streets had to close to get our new ramps in and on this location. Here, this is the closures of this street. And these, these streets over here are closed also. 11th Avenue is closed so we can get the new ramps in. And to do that, we have the detours in place, and these detours are still in place. Uh, this is the detour for the 12th Court Bridge, and it follows and goes around and goes on the 15th 
uh, Avenue and comes back up around by Tuggle School. This is Tuggle School here. As you know, the 17th Street Bridge is temporarily closed, but we will reopen that with the new ramps that we showed in the previous uh, viewing. 9th Avenue is temporarily closed. Uh, there are some temporary closures in order to do some work in that area. And that will be ongoing uh, until the completion of the project, even in phase three. Uh, some of 9th Avenue will be closed in the future. But right now, it's just a temporary closure. Okay, phase three. Let's talk about phase three. Uh, phase three, as we mentioned, is the modification of the ramps configuration at Red Mountain Expressway and the replacement of the bridges downtown uh, and, and the demolish and, and, and reconstruction of, the, of those bridges. This is a view looking southbound at Red Mountain Expressway. Some of the work is ongoing uh, in this shot is the fact that we're going to widen this ramp so that in both directions you have two lane traffic. But um, uh, phase one of our work, the phase, first phases of our work was to widen it so you, if you're going Red Mountain Expressway northbound to uh, 5920 northbound, you'll have two lanes once we close the bridge. This is a view looking westbound. This is some of the work of uh, the ramp, the new ramp that will be put in place. Uh, for the in, to go in the exit and the entrance ramps to 25th Street, I have a better view to show it as we go forward. Okay, this is a shot looking uh, eastbound. This is a proposed uh, rendering of the project, and this is where we are today. This is the ramp that we're trying to get in place before we close the bridge. This is an entrance and exit ramp uh, that will be in place prior to the actual bridge is closed. And so we're working very hard to get that in. And this ramp will be replaced also, but and this will be demolished and replaced. But our focus point at this point is the ramps to get in and out of the city prior to closing the mainline bridges. You can also see where we cut off the, the ramp, the existing ramp that was in place, the circle ramp that used to tie to uh, 11th, that's been removed. Some of the closures, as I, as I just mentioned, is that ramp has been demolished and removed and it was cut off at that point. Uh, the 25th Street on ramp also has been is closed at this time also uh, to allow the contractors to facilitate the construction in this area. Other closures is a temporary closure at 28th, uh, and also temporary closures at I-59 uh, during uh, off-peak times primarily. And let me mention that primarily we're not putting out releases on every closure. There are so many ongoing at this point in time, but the primarily Primarily, those closures are done at night, and there will be closures. So we sent out a blanket release, and we will we'll send a new one out shortly that will say that uh, be mindful that will be closures, delays, especially at, during night. There may be some rolling roadblocks during those period of time. When we do have a rolling roadblock and it will be a significant closure, we will try to send out a special release on those. Other closures is uh, Abraham, temporary closure of Reverend Abraham Woods and 28th Street in that area. Here's a timeline. It has not changed from our previous briefing. As we mentioned, phase uh, A and one is complete. Phase two is scheduled to be finished by August 2018. 
and phase three is scheduled to be finished around November 2020. But be mindful of the fact that the actual closure of the 5920 bridges is scheduled to be late uh, fall or winter of 2018. And it will be closed for approximately 14 months. With that, uh, we'll take any questions at, at this time. All right, it doesn't sound like there's any questions out there unless we have some questions on the chat window. Um, I don't see, I don't see any questions on the chat window. So to Jarvis, if you want to wrap it up, sounds like we gave them everything they needed today. Again, we thank you for your participation in the briefing. And we just ask you to please be mindful and encourage the motorists to uh, be mindful of the construction activity and, and to obey the uh, traffic signals. And as we always say, uh, we want to start safe, be safe, and get everybody home safe. Thank you very much.